Welcome to the second Defense News Middle East Air Chiefs Conference. And we extend a warm thank you to His Highness, the UAE Defense Minister and Crown Prince of Dubai, Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum. In the meantime, the environment has become much more complex. It's taking, you know, uh, a significant development in this field of ballistic missile, cruise missile, unmanned standoff and precision weapons. It's become extremely lethal and also the stealth has become almost in, in all this. Today we all meet here to listen to commanders of air power from around the world. Our presenting sponsor, Boeing, would like to present a gift to you as a sign of gratitude. Much has changed in, this in the use of air power and the threat picture in this region since last we met here two years ago. So we are trying to modernize our business systems and I will give you an example of that. Our first speaker for this session will talk to us about the challenges. Uh, in my own Air Force, we are driving through one of the most extensive and far-reaching programs of change in our history. Now, as part of the government-endorsed targeting doctrine for our operations in Iraq, our commanders, operations and legal staff operating in the Coalition Air Operations Centre. My view of future sy training system is, apart from being based on my own Swedish experience. First of all, I want to discuss the value of a, of a vision uh, for airmen. The direct money costs, I mean uh, cost in terms of resources. And now we need to train every pilot to a high level in every role. 